Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, thanks for joining me today for another video. So in this instalment we'll be taking a quick look at these novelty antennas that I got a few years ago, which incorporate an LED inside, and when you transmit on your radio, the LED illuminates. Now I've never properly used these antennas or tested them, so I thought I'd dig them out today to show you. We're going to be looking at the SWR on the antennas first to see if the LED hinders their performance, and I'm thinking there's a strong chance that it will. So the first antenna is the HYT HH508S. This is a stubby antenna for VHF and UHF and has a transparent casing at the top to allow the internal red LED to be seen. And as you can see there are two resistors and two LEDs soldered to the element inside. The second is an unbranded VHF and UHF antenna that has a gel cap on the top which allows a blue LED to illuminate through it. I can't get the top off without actually damaging the antenna, but I'm guessing this is of a similar construction inside to the HYT antenna. So we'll test both antennas SWR using the Shawcom SW33. Now this device has mixed reviews and is very cheap, so the results won't be scientific, but it will give us an idea on whether the antenna is at least reasonably resonant or not. And for the SWR, something like 1.1 to 1.5 on this reading would be reasonable. So first we'll try the HYT antenna on VHF and you're supposed to key up for at least 3 seconds to get a proper reading. So as you can see the SWR is 2.5 at 5 watts and I've had to just darken the image here because the studio lights seem to overwhelm the LEDs in the SWR meter. Now we'll try UHF and as you can see the SWR is 2.5 also at 5 watts so that is not good at all. So let's try the other antenna, again VHF first at 5 watts, the SWR is showing at 3.8 which is even worse. And on UHF at 5 watts, the SWR meter actually read 19.9. So the first antenna isn't good, that SWR won't do your radio any favours at all, uh, lots of the outputted RF is going straight back into the radio. As for the second antenna, well I can only surmise that the reading of 19.9 on UHF means that there is a serious problem with the antenna and that all of the radio's RF power is heading straight back through the meter and into the radio itself. So there you have it, a quick look at these LED antennas. One thing I should point out is that when I bought them, they weren't cheap either. Uh, now I may have had a bad batch or two of a bad batch, but it's likely that these are suffering from the same problem. And the LEDs soldered directly to the antenna's radiating element don't do it any favours whatsoever. Now this may just be coincidence, they may just be poorly made antennas, but I don't think those LEDs help, so stay clear. Now, I was going to test these out in the field, but with high SWR readings, there's not really any point. But they do look pretty, but that's about it. Okay, so I think I'll wrap this short video up, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, drop them in the box below, and I'll get back to you. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.